Hi everybody, I am really excited for today's video. It is going to be my first goal setting video of 2023, first monthly goal setting video of 2023. This will be my goals for January. In the past year, when I since I started the Moxie Life, I've combined goal setting and setting up my monthly calendar. Well, I actually am not quite going to be doing that this year because I think this monthly calendar, rather than just having it be a like overview of the month, which is basically copied from my Google calendar. Instead, I think it's going to be my health tracker. So my dialysis sessions and so on and so forth. But because I'm not starting dialysis yet, I am not quite sure how this will work. And rather than start it on something, I'm just going to leave it alone until I start dialysis this the week of the 9th, because that way I can talk to the team there and figure out what kinds of things I need to be tracking for my monthly appointments to keep it all in one monthly spot. So in the meantime, I'm just leaving January alone. Although in the future, my goal, or my hope at least, is to both have my health stuff on here and add in some of the celebrations collection stickers. So I may go back in and add some later, but that won't be in this video. Now, when it comes to my goals, I did my annual goal video during Vlogmas last month. You can go check that one out. I will link it down below. But one of the things I wanted to incorporate this year is my Moxie Life routines. And the reason I'm saying that specifically is because I, um, the second half of this last year, I wound up not really doing the reflections all that often and not being great at checking my, my weekly actions and making sure that I was doing them until the end of the week and then I get overwhelmed. So I want to make sure that I uh, am making that part of my goals, at least in the beginning parts of the year to kind of solidify that. Because what I found last year was when I was staying on top of all those things, I felt more successful. And because of dialysis and everything coming up, I'm trying to give myself as many legs up as possible while being realistic with what I can actually get done. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's, I'm not going to have any goals to go over for last month. I mean, I guess I could, but I kind of did that already when I was going over my 2022 goals. So let's start uh, getting ready to set these January goals. Now, before I do that, let me talk about my supplies. This is my Moxie Life flagship annual planner for 2023. The cover is the Blackberry Fields cover, which is the one I designed with them. And I promise eventually I will stop bragging about that, but not right now. And then for my actual goal setting stuff, I am currently using a Statler pigment liner, and then I am using highlighters and dot markers. So the highlighters are the Moxie markers, which are already color coordinated. I'm also using the clean color dot markers. And if you would like to know which colors I am using, I go over them all in my 2023 goal setting video. If you want to have just the names of them, they are a mix of the singles and the doubles, and they will all be listed in the description of this video. I want to also add real quick for those of you who did watch my planner flip through and I mentioned two things. One, I'm well, three things. When I mentioned wondering how I was going to use the monthly, I just talked about that too. I mentioned wanting to use the notes pages, of which there are quite a few less, it feels like, in the flagship than there. Maybe not. I don't know. There's there's some um, notes pages for health related stuff, but again, I don't really know yet what they're going to want out of me. So I'm going to worry about that later. But what I did do was I went in and I added in my son's school calendar for the rest of the 2023. 22-23 school year. I They have a little bit out so far for the next school year, but I'm not going to put that in yet because usually they make adaptions and adjustments to it until you get a little closer. So I have um, A days and B days, which are the, my son is on a block schedule. So he has eight periods and he goes to four on A days and four on B days and it alternates. And it's just important to know which one is which for the sake of his own sanity. So I have all of those marked in here. I also have his days off not counting weekends, like three day weekends, four day weekends, and um, like the break. And then I put weird or finals days, weird because they do like college days where things go a little differently. And then finals days, the schedule is also different. So that's all, that's all I'm planning to use this calendar for is school calendar, because it's just helpful to look at this until, you know, instead of going and having to look up the high school online. Although I will say, at the end of school year 2024, unless RJ majorly pulls a boner, I'll be done with school calendars. What the fuck? Okay, now that I've mentioned those things, 
moving forward. Oh, and maybe, okay, one more thing. <laughs> um, also, I want to just give you a quick, so you can see this is what my 23 and 2023 looks like. I did that video already as well. As a matter of fact, that might be the last video that I put up. This is just what it looks like in my planner. It's not super fancy, but it does have like, if I want to take three weeks off, I have three dots to check off. If I want to visit a museum each quarter, I have a spot to write what museum it was. Those sorts of things, just kind of track it. But I kept it very simple because I have found with trackers, if I do not keep them simple, I'm not going to use them. Stay tuned for how the calendar is going to get used. And now let's get going on my January goals. Okay, first and foremost, Sort of one of the ways I've used highlighters in the past is to highlight my focus for the month, to highlight if I have kind of the big goal or the big action I want to accomplish, like the, the top priority, any habits that I want to put on my habit trackers each week. I like to highlight those because there's space for seven habits, so it helps me keep track of how many. I'm mentioning that in the context here because my personal section highlights all three of those. Highlighter, highlights. Anyway, so my focus for personal is to start with a good foundation. And what I mean by that is pretty reflected in my kind of priority action for the month, which is to establish my Moxie Life routine. Like I said, I feel more successful if I stay on top of it. And so going into the year is starting it with that seems really helpful and kind of simple. It's not super... Um, it's not super like complicated. I don't need to make it complicated. It's just a reminder. And on top of that, I don't, well, I want to work, like figure out how to make life a little bit more routine, a little bit more predictable with dialysis. That's not something that's going to happen this month because this month I am going to be training. And so it's not going to look the same. So I didn't want to start with any of those types of things, anything that really impacts my day-to-day -day life in terms of our lifestyle. Instead, what I just want to do is make sure that I'm setting a good foundation with how I use my planner to help me navigate this complicated year I have ahead of me. And so by doing that, I did put daily for my habit tracker. And what I mean by that is that every day I want to check in with my daily actions and see what I could potentially do that day and check off anything that gets done. Because like I said, that is something that... I uh, struggled with this last year. Then I've got weekly, aka checking my weekly, uh, doing my weekly reflections and checking in on my weekly, uh, like doing my weekly reflections and my next week's actions. And then monthly is doing the monthly reflections. So those things are the step that I want to establish that maybe a good time for it, etc. And then I also added a couple over here of weekly, even though one of them is monthly. Um, doing one little word and checking in on my plants. I just put that in there to remind myself that I'm doing those as well. And then the other item for personal in terms of routines and things like that is to find out what info they're going to want me to track regarding dialysis specifically as it relates to like the information I want to put in my planner. That's just something I want to find out. I'll be in training for three weeks in January. So I, that's a good time to ask. Fun and recreation's focus is to gently start on this shit. I have a whole bunch of things I'd like to do this year. This is not going to be that month. But I did want to put one day on the trail with Jesse and Layla. We have a whole system of multi-use trails in the Denver area that we would like to walk with Layla. And so I would like to plan to do that on one of these weekends with Jess and Layla, but keep it very, very easy, especially considering how shitty I could feel during dialysis training, and then taking a three day off weekend. I already have um, that planned. It's gonna be my birthday weekend at the end of the month, and then maintaining Saturdays, Fridays and Saturdays off from work. Now this, I did put in here, although I feel like work is gonna look very different this month because I will be spending basically like a six hour day, at least five days a week doing dialysis. Jesse's taking the time off but I will need to do some work, but it's not going to be very much. So this Friday, Saturday off might not actually be really appropriate, but at least Saturday's off. We'll see. For work and learning, my focus, and I'm, I've already started, I don't know, maybe this was not something I meant to do, but every focus so far has started with the word or has included the word quote start. So maybe that'll be something I continue for the whole goals. Maybe if it fits, but for work and learning is to smart, smart, start in small ways. The two things I want to work on for work and learn are completing. I have three courses. I want to complete over three quarters and then my HP 90 stuff. And so for the art within, which is the course I'm working on in January in order to, um, in order to reestablish my art practice and flow, 
uh, there's two modules I want to work on and get done in the month. And then for HB90, I just have four dots for my weekly check-ins and one for my monthly review. Okay, so for my family and relationships, I have some things I've been doing this last year and I have some new things I'd like to incorporate. So for my focus, it's to start or continue family and friends moments. And I put moments because I couldn't think of a better word to use. So the ones that are have more than one spot to check off are the date nights with Jesse, which I want to do twice a month. So I have two dots there and then having a lunch one on one with my kids. Um, so I have a dot for each of my kids. On the other side, I have a couple of just things I want to do at least once this next month. Coffee date with a friend and calling my sisters. And then I also added my birthday dinner, which is not something that will be every month, but my birthday is this month. And so doing something for my birthday will be fun. So health and wellness is probably going to be the most consequential one of my goals this month. The focus is to start dialysis training. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I am in kidney failure with genetic kidney disease, and I will be beginning home hemodialysis training, hopefully they said three to five weeks usually, and then they send you home when you're ready, and then you start doing it at home. So my dialysis training, I had three, I put down four dots, but realized it's only three because we start the second week of January. The other two items on this list are meet my potential therapist. I have that meeting before I start dialysis, and then meal plan with the dialysis di diet, and I've got three weeks there because I'm going to talk to the dietitian there to really figure out what I should be doing. And then I have four habits listed on the side here. 6.30 a.m. wake up, which is earlier than I've been waking up but we have to be at the center at 8 a.m and we have to drop Layla off at daycare first um, walking Layla or getting outside depending on how I'm feeling uh, but I want to do at least that once a day drinking enough water I didn't put an amount though I'm going to start the, the the year out with 120 ounces because that's what I've been drinking but it may shift with dialysis they do start to reduce your fluid intake the longer you're on dialysis because you stop peeing and so they have to regulate how much fluid you bring into your body so I don't have a perfect number on that yet. And then a 9.30 p.m. bedtime. There's only one item for my spiritual and personal growth where the focus is to start arranging my life to fit in going to church. If you were following me last year, you know this was one area that I really, really had trouble with. And um, a big chunk of that I realized is because I stream on Sundays and I tend to grocery shop in the morning on Sundays. So I need a different day to go grocery shopping, basically. And I've been wishy-washy about it. And I'm like, no, no, no. In January, I will decide on a grocery day and that will be my grocery day. And it won't be Sunday mornings. For financial, my focus is to start my no buy year. I'll leave that video linked below. I've talked about it a little bit already. So my top goal for the month and also my habit, another habit that's going to go on my habit tracker is keeping my no buy, like following through on it. And I'm going to have a daily the thing that's not on this list that will be on every other month, like this financial one is going to likely look pretty similar most months because it's a lot of like repeating the same thing over and over again. But the reason it's not in January is because I'm not going to film it till February is my accountability videos. Those are going to get filmed after the first. And since I haven't started my no buy year, there really isn't an accountability video to film yet. So that's not on here yet. But keeping my no buy and then uh, monthly budget stuff with Jesse, having our meeting and writing our budget. And then finally, my physical environment goal is pretty straightforward. Every month I want to do a home project. This month's project will be my dialysis room upstairs. We need to order the recliner for it. We need to finalize the layout for it and figure out exactly how it's going to look. We need to get the plumbing done. We already have water and drain hookups, but we need to get them like set for the machine. And we need to figure out how we're going to store the supplies up in the room and down in the basement. So those are all of the things we're gonna work on over the course of January. It will likely suck up a lot of our Saturdays. Alrighty, so here are my January goals. If this goes, if this month goes even slightly according to plan, then when we re-meet up for February goals, I should be well on my way towards having my reflections getting ready to fill it out and, um, my moxie life routine is in place, um, as well as all of this other stuff. But very specifically, those things are relevant to these videos. We shall see how it goes. Hopefully, the next time we talk, I'll also have an idea of exactly how I'm going to be using my monthly calendar so we can talk about that. In the meantime, is there anything else you want to see from me in these kind of personal monthly setups? Because what this really amounts to is my monthly reset for my life. 
and this is personal. There's a second video that's going to be going up on Thursday where I'm setting my work planner up for the month of January, and these will be a repeat video every single month. So if that is something you're interested in and there's something you want to see in these monthly reset videos besides setting up my goals, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, my friends, peace.